guys welcome back so I'm gonna keep keep working on some of this ephemera that we've been playing with for the last couple days and um, hopefully we can get this book done uh, before we can really decorate it though I was going to sew around them and honestly I completely forgot I didn't record yesterday which is fine because I was ahead by a day um, but, I mean, I guess I could sew around them, but I'm not sure how many people want to sit here and watch me sew around pockets. Um, but we could just decorate them and then sew them afterwards. I don't think it would be such a big deal. Unless there's, like, extravagant design on them. Which, I don't want to put too extravagant, though, because... Um, they are going inside the book, not on the cover. And I know I separated these out, but for whatever reason, I decided to put them all in one pile, like a ding dong. So I'm gonna have to separate them. I think these were the ones that were journaly. I know that one was. Maybe that one. Oh no. I pocketed the ones that were okay. Dirt. Don't mind me. Oh, my allergies are acting up. I am so sorry. I probably sound pretty congested right now. Um, it's evening ish. It's like uh, 20 till 8. It's not too, too late. Um, but it's still in the evening. And, you know, I think I am going to go ahead and sew around these. Um, for anybody who doesn't want to watch that, you, please feel free to fast forward or skip or, you know, whichever. But yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and sew around these. Um, because I didn't exactly glue them down perfectly because I knew I was going to sew around them. I just completely forgot. I got busy with, you know, life and such. Um, went and got my nails done. I drove for the first time since pulling my calf muscle and it wasn't it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be because I'm I drive an uh, an automatic it's not a standard so I don't really need my left foot but I don't know I guess I just had this fear that um, I was gonna get like a spasm or something and it would cause me to jerk and I just didn't want to harm anybody on the road so I didn't drive but I've been walking around this weekend today's Sunday this video will go up tomorrow for Monday but I've been walking around uh, a good bit getting my steps in and everything um, my step count is really low because I've had the last couple weeks uh, pretty much on bed rest um, like it had gotten so ridiculous that I was like stressing out my hamstring because I was lifting my leg up right and so it was kind of funny and like humorous to me I told Lane though I think I've already told you guys I just find it ironic that you know I go from being a couch potato there's a word for that and I forgot what it is I think it's like so Terry or something like that Anyway, I go from being a couch potato to getting more active and whatnot. Then I hurt myself, and then I'm forced back on the the couch again, which I thought was kind of funny. All right, so this one, actually, both of these, I need to do the backs of them, too. I forgot. So anyway, um, went to the grocery store with Sid yesterday she's feeling a lot better um she has eaten a lot more in the past two days she's still very like picky with what she's eating not necessarily um like what she's eating but how much she's eating which you know it's a step up so i'm okay with that and it's not like she's just eating junk like she had chicken noodle soup tonight for dinner we had a fend for yourself night we normally do that when there's like leftovers in the fridge and there's like no more room in the fridge to make anything. 
because we normally do have a little bit of leftovers, whether it's, you know, a bunch if we make spaghetti. We always end up with a bunch because for whatever reason, it doesn't matter who in my family makes spaghetti. We make enough to feed the neighborhood and there's only five of us. And I only eat like a cup of spaghetti at a time, so. And even Wayne and Porter don't eat that much, so. I mean, they both eat two plates each, but. I don't think we eat enough to justify as much as we all make. For whatever reason, I don't know why. It's like, do y'all do that? Is there like a meal that you make that you always make like a whole bunch and whether you do it on purpose or whether it's completely involuntary and accidental. Is there a meal that you guys do like that? Um, spaghetti is the big one for us. Any kind of pasta dish like that. Spaghetti, lasagna. Um, if we make ba uh, baked mac and cheese. Although I have not had that in a minute. Uh, a lot of our pastas we've swapped over to, uh, let me grab my sewing machine, um, to whole grain or even veggie, just straight veggies. Um, <clears throat> all right. Tell me a button. Oh, my paddle is wrapped up in my power cord. There we go. All right. So, um, let's see, we'll put you back here. That should work, maybe, possibly. All right. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, I hope this isn't too loud. Um, I'm just going to do a zigzag around everything. Um, I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm, for whatever reason, I like to push the pedal with my feet instead of my shoed feet. Does that make sense? I don't know why. Um, I think I want to go this way. All right, so I did back stitch on where I started because these are cards, they're not going to be glued down to anything. So that's what it looks like. And this is a um, it's kind of a cream colored thread, it's actually vintage thread. Um, I got this quite a long time ago. Um, it's this thing here. Oh, uh, let's see if I can show you guys this. And it used to be very, very full, but it is not now. I don't sew nearly as uh, much as like some other girls. I remembered to backstitch this stuff at the beginning. like going wee. <laughs> yeah, cut those. And I do use scissors just because I don't necessarily like having the tails on them. Uh, maybe on pages, but I don't know. 
it's never been one of my aesthetics to have the tails. These normally go by pretty quick. Um, I'm just sorry I didn't get to do them beforehand because <clears throat> I don't know how many people want to sit here and watch me sew cards. And again, you guys have also watched me iron paper, which is interesting. I think it might be a little bit different, though, because those were live videos. Oh, I forgot to backstitch. I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> Y'all have to let me know. Let's start down here. Backstitch. So I haven't looked at the comments today or yesterday for that matter. So I'm not up to speed with what everyone's doing if you guys have told me. <clears throat> so what are you guys doing? What are you working on? too bad. I mean, I don't know how long it took me to ink the paper or ink the thingies up. Okay, that's it. 
Okay. So I think this will probably be better if there's only like one or two things to sew. Let me put my shoe back on. Instead of like seven. But really, before we can progress, we have to get that done. Okay. So now all of our cards are sewn and pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. Even though these are pockets and not cards. Okay. So let's see, this one has got the journaling space on the back. So let's see what we want to do. Uh, do we want to add a hole up here? Open sesame. All right, so I'm not going to go through the thread. I'm going to go underneath it just a little. There we go. And I open this up so I can see if you guys don't have that hole punch. <clears throat> and I really want to make more of these because it was such an efficient and way to make so many of these pockets and tags and cards and such. It's really, really nice. Okay, so let's see what are we going to do. Bring some of our stuff out. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that we have all of these tags. So, we'll set those aside. Boop. Okay. Got these little guys over here. Pardon my head. I didn't realize it was in the camera. I'm sure y'all want to see my fuzzball head. I love this one. I'm just grabbing some of these scrap pieces that are over here. Um, I hit the mouse, which just reminded me to get off of the OBS screen. All right. So I think I want to do a piece of this. We'll cut it down a little bit in a minute. Okay. And then... We can add that little guy there. Oh my gosh, I like that so much. I think I like it up there better. You know, I think I'm going to do it like this. and kind of make my lace into a banner. Cut a little bit off of it though. What's on there? That would have been interesting. Made it the wrong way. All right. Oh, I like that. Okay, so let's do that. So I don't have really any kind of exciting news for you guys. It's, I mean, all in all, it's been a pretty boring weekend, which is a good thing, actually, I think. Um, I guess because I've had so much excitement, if you will, between myself going to the doctor and Sydney going to the doctor. It's just, I appreciate some boring right about now. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. Let me grab my bagging over here. Um, <clears throat> this is, it's just, it's Snug Hug. I get it on Etsy. Um, that should be big enough. 
it's not like you can use it on a smaller tag. But it's just a nice neutral cream color. And you can, um, that's not big enough. Um, You can crinkle it, use wet it, and then squish it up, scrunch it up. So yeah, I went and got my nails done today. It was funny though, because the last time I went and got my nails done, she, she's just like, you want tips? So I was like, yeah, I don't have any nails, because, well, with this whole pandemic thing, I wasn't able to go out and get my nails done and I'm really really bad at picking up my nails and um oh I like that so much okay let's put that over here let's grab this guy wrong one I was just poking a hole through that tool there. I'm going to use a seam binding so it doesn't get lost. And you can use different things as well. It doesn't have to be seam binding. It can be ribbon or yarn or uh, lace. Lace is fun. Oh, you know what? I have some really nice thin laces. I don't think I've inventoried yet, which means I can play with them. <clears throat> This one is actually inventory, but this is just an extra roll. This one here. I love this lace. It's not actually a lace, it's just a trim. But I love it. And this one will actually go quite nicely with this guy. So the only thing with this particular trim is even when I cut it for you guys, when whenever you buy it, I have to glue it. But I hot glue it, that way it's out. That way it's quicker. And I wouldn't suggest going and touching it because it's a little warm. And then you just give it a second and I kind of just spread it probably about a half an inch long that way um, it seals it on both sides and I can cut right down the middle and it'll be fine Oop. and it won't unravel because this one will unravel I already got ink all over me that is so funny All right, I think, no, I got it the right size. I was gonna say, I think one's longer than the other, but I don't think that's true. And poke it through the hole. Come on, give me my, give me my trim. There we go. I was trying to get it to tighten up a little bit, but it wasn't working, but I got it. All right. I like that. And I think that would be really pretty with like a lace as well. I have a nice um, 
dark brown lace that I think would be really pretty with that. Okay, so let's go on to a card. Let's see. Hmm, which side do we want to do? I think this will work. That's the big one. Mm, I like that. trying to decide what to do here because I like that. I have no idea how easy or difficult that will be to take off. I've never disassembled these before um, because they're normally, well, they're, it's gorgeous. I, the, the color just happens to match just a smidge better, I think. Not too bad. Oh, that is so awesome. I like that. <clears throat> All right. Oh, we can also get some of the ephemera out. Um, I haven't cut any of it though, so that's the problem with that. But most of my ephemera is um, very easy to cut because I make them how I want to buy them. Very easy to cut apart. Cool, huh? And then and add our glue to the back of this. Actually, yeah, because I really want to keep this here. Could also do it this way, but the, the writing doesn't allow it to work that way. And you know, I think I'm probably going to break it. Don't mind me. Um, let's grab my book. I'm distressing the edge like you would a page or something. Oh, that is so cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so throw that back over there. Oh, look at that. That just pops out a lot more. I don't know why I do that every time. I don't think I need to every single time. Oh, so did I tell you guys that um, I'm thinking about getting art glitter glue and I want some feedback on what you guys think. Do you use it? Do you not use it? If you don't use it, um, why? Um, if you do use it, what do you think? Because I've had, like, I've had mixed reviews on it. Every, like, I've, every video that I've watched, you know, people talking about art glitter glue, it's kind of a mixed review. Some people love it, some people are just, some people love it, some people hate it, and some people are just like, eh, whatever. I don't care. So, I am curious. Oh, 
I love that. And I like how flat it is. Like it's a lot flat, a lot flat. It's a lot flatter. Oh, I like that. I don't know if y'all heard that, but my daughter's in there coughing. And she is always coughing. Her allergies are worse than mine. All right, let's see. Got a flower. Oh, now we have this that we can play with. Put this on here. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see if we can find something to go. I actually don't really want to cover this up though because it's so pretty. Angie can write on this side here. Angie can write on the back. Well, it goes this way because the writing is this way. I think I want to keep it just like that. Be very simple with it because, like I said, I don't want to cover this up. And that's one of the great things about doing the cards like this is <clears throat> it makes decorating them a lot easier in my opinion because they're already collaged for you like you just you already did that work you know I take this flower here that I peel off of that potted heart and we're going to use it on this side over here Now it is going to be a little bulky because there's a pearl right there, but that's okay. Because that looks like a, a full-size pearl ver versus um, a, a flat back pearl, which, I mean, you could always tear it out and then just put a flat back. It'll save a little bit of dimension, but oh, I like that. So, so cool. All right, let's see. What can we put here. Let's grab um, this folder and <clears throat> let's see. And see, this is my idea of fussy cutting. Now, don't get me wrong. In this particular set, I do have some um, more, what's the word, intricate, detailed uh, embellishments. They're not ephemera. They're embellishments, but... Um, I like that flower. Let's see. Maybe use a smaller one. I like that one though. I like them both. And this is just on regular copy paper because I assumed I was going to be cutting these for collage type things. You could also put it on sticker paper. That would be cool. All right. You know, I wonder what this would look like if I printed it out on my label maker. Um, I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a label printer that I print the shipping labels on. It's a thermal printer. I wonder what that would look like. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's do that. And figure out what we're going to do on top of that. Let's save that. Put that in here for now. Bloop. Do over here. <clears throat> All right. Um. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this one and then I'm going to start putting some of this stuff in the book because I need to figure out what all I need versus just making a whole bunch of stuff and then not needing it and then it doesn't go with anything. Alright, 
So let's figure out where to put some of this stuff. Because I have a lot of stuff to put in here, right? I have this huge pile over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, I have beads over here next to my mic, so I'm sorry if that was loud. They're, um, I don't know if you can see that. They're from Hawaii. They're cool, though. I like them. I've had those beads for a long time. All right, let's grab the book. Okay. So I know that I want to cover up, let's see, this. And that's not going to work. Now I could paint over that and then cover that. That would be kind of cool. Let's see what else I have in this folder. Um, these are some postcards. Could always resize them, but that would mean getting on my computer. Well, I'm on my computer, but that would mean. Um, Ooh. I have these blank labels. All right, let's see. If we can. Nope. Don't want any of that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, your coffee. Um, could also do vellum. Just looking through these digitals that I've got set aside for this kit, or for this book. A lot of them are vellum. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. All right. So we're going to cut this out, and we're going to ink around this. Again, with the easy cut apart. See, this would also be kind of cool for sticker paper, I think. I need to make more digitals. I just don't have enough time in the day, man. I feel like I'm constantly working on something and then my project list is never done. Anybody else feel like that? Oh, that works out perfect. All right, let's ink this. And then whoever gets this can write their message in the front of it. So my goal, hopefully, is to have this bad boy finished by this weekend so I can get it up on the shop. There we go. But... I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I think that if I only do this, it should be fine. Like, I should be good to go if I only work on the book. I mean, because we're decorating it now, so... Okay. Oh! That is so cool. I like that. All right. Oh, we got to do something on this side. Look at that. All right, let's figure out what we can put here. Ooh, I know. That's where this big one can come into play. Here. And put that there.
I didn't anticipate the bleed through on this side. I honestly forgot about it. But that's why we flip through the book as we're decorating. And then we flip through the book again and again and again to see if we missed anything. Because that's the thing about altered books versus um, creating a journal straight from scratch is you're covering pages essentially. So some of the pages, I mean, you're not going to mind if you can see through them. Like I've used the script as, or I've used the type as part of the decoration on some of these pages. And anytime I'm using copy paper like this, I try to use Fabri-Tac because it's not going to warp the paper. That or tape, like double-sided tape, you can do that too. I did that a lot when I was making um, albums, like photo albums. Oh, so cool. Okay. Um, I don't have something to smooth this out. I mean, I have my phone on me, but nothing that's stiff. Maybe a ruler. There we go. All right, hold that. Okay, so this has got a card in it already. Most of these are decorated. Um, oh my gosh, let's put something else in here. Um, let's put, oh, that's pretty. There we go. I like that. Okay, so this one needs something, but I need a big something to go in here. Maybe this guy. I don't want it to poke out too much. And then there's the card here, journaling card. Okay, tag. Card tag. Let's put something else in this one. Um, let's do you. Can you work? Oh, I like that. Okay. I feel like this might need something. But then again, that is a lot of journal space to cover up, so I think I'm going to leave it. And then a card here and something here. So let's do this one on this side. There we go. And then... we want to put in here? Well, there's already a card in here. So we can leave that there. Something needs to go in here. Um, we'll put this in here. Um, let's see. I need... So that one needs something. This one has a pocket and a thing. 
This one I feel like needs something. Ooh, I know. That's what we could do next is make some belly bands. Because I feel like we could put a belly band on here. Ooh, that's nice too. I like that. Oh, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that. I don't film with my phone anymore, so, um, or actually I haven't filmed with my phone in a very long time. Um, I, I really like that. We're going to do that. And for whatever reason, whenever my husband gets a phone call, my phone rings. My iPad rings and my computer rings. Well, not this computer, my laptop. Um, but if I get a phone call on my phone, my phone rings. That's it. That's my phone. And I'm like, what is happening? Like, what is going on here? I feel weird. My nails are so short. I like the color though. It matches my cat here. Okay. All right. Let's see. What can we put in here? Um, ooh. Oh, that one. No, it's a little too pink. I gotta keep holding this down. My card is a little warped. Probably from all the glue stick, because the glue stick will make it warp. That's pretty. I like that. And then this one's got a pocket and a tag. This one's got a tag. Uh, see, this is the embellishment that I was talking about. It's a little bit more intricate to cut out. Tag. Do we have something back here? We do. Postcard. It's not actually a postcard. It's a journaling card. All right, uh, this one here needs something. This one here. I don't think I have another giant tag. So that's on our to-do list is making giant tags and belly bands. Okay. I like the pink in here. Um, let's see. I actually feel like I need something obviously in here. Okay. And then this one. And well, this one I want to, I think I'm going to put this onto a um, page. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, let's see. Oh. I think this one's too tall. Oh, nope. Maybe. There we go. Let's find some tags for these guys. Those aren't going to work. Alright, so i got a pocket here that needs something and a pocket here that needs something. And then we got some belly bands I want to put in here, some pockets and whatnot. The pocket on this side. 
and a belly band on this side. I'm just thinking because there's this up here, so I'm trying to think we could do um, a corner pocket or we could do like a corner tuck up here or we could do a tuck at the bottom. Like, um, like glue it down here and then you'd have like a little tuck, not a pocket, but a tuck. Oh, I put the wrong thing over there. Okay. Hold that for a minute. Let's see. We've got some more cards, tags, and pockets that we can put here. Let's see. I think that one might actually go really well right there. I like that. Let's do that. You say. Oh, I just threw something and I don't know what it was. And you could use hot glue. I don't like using hot glue paper to paper because it's very easy to come apart. And with Fabri-Tac and your PVA glues, if you try to take that sucker apart, you're going to rip it apart. But that is just my personal preference. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it because a lot of people love their hot glue. I love my hot glue. My hot glue gun is never unplugged. Never. Not even when I go to bed at night. It stays on all the time right there. Mostly because it's plugged into my surge tower underneath my desk. And if I want to turn off my glue gun, then I have to turn off my surge project or my surge tower, which turns off a whole spew of things. So I just leave it on. All right, let's see this other page here. All right, you good? You good, Paige? All right, so let's go back to this one. Let's find something. Oh, I don't need to throw my stuff away. All right, let's see, what can we put in here? Put this guy in here. I like that. Hmm. I like this better. Let's see. We'll need to put something in there. And here. Alright, so we're going to mark all the pages that need something. All right, and then this guy here, actually, I think I want to put this tag on here. We're just gonna put this tag as, oh, we can put the tag as a pocket. Oh, yes. And then, come here, put this, maybe, I'm not sure, I have to let this sit for a second. 
I'm just double checking the other page, uh, the other pockets, making sure they're down. Okay. Mm, no, it's just a little too wide. So this one still needs something to go inside in the pocket. So it looks like we need belly bands, tucks, and um, cards. We need a lot more cards. So we're going to definitely mess with that. thinking because not all of the tags that we made the other day go with this book <coughs> oh, this one's cool it's little I like that um, we're actually running out of stuff Ironically, I thought I had a lot more stuff. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're going to leave that because you can still write on that. Okay, what do you need? Let's do oh, the pocket on this side. We could do that. Let's do that. Don't mind that because that's going to get covered up. There for a while I was in the habit of stamping the back of the tags, but a lot of the tags either get written on or glued down like this. So it's not exactly the best thing. So I should probably stop doing that. I think these are good on camera too. This is going to be a very chunky book, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> like we're not even done yet. You know, I might have to leave these empty just so there's room to actually do stuff. Because, I mean... That is quite chunky. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. We might actually finish this then in this. Uh, I'm gonna do that because this is going to be massive. If I fill up every single one of these pages, I'm not sure that it will even close. So, Let's put in the rest of our stuff that we have here. Um, the card. There we go. I'm going to put that there. That is a pocket. I'm not sure I'm going to put anything in that pocket. I'm not covering her up. And this is just really cool up vellum where I ironed the back side of this so it made it like crinkly feeling very very cool all right so these need to be covered so that's not gonna work although nope that's not gonna work either well that one will No, it's too wide. And if I push it to the edge, then it's too, yeah, it's too wide. Okay, so we need these covered. And I have the perfect 
thing, at least for one of them. Remember when we were doing that uh, collage stuff? Yeah, I have this left over. I actually still have some uh, coffee dyed lined paper like this that I can use. And which this is actually really awesome because I've had this paper for a while. I just keep buying other people's paper and using other people's paper. <laughs> So I've had this for a long time. So I'm just going to put this in the corner here with just an ever so slight border. Okay. All right. So there's some journaling page. And I'm not sure what I want to do on that side or that one for that matter. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe, no, we figured that was too, we could leave it like that though. That's kind of cool. What do you think about that? <laughs> leave the about the authors. That's funny. Um, but we can put this back here and just glue it straight down and have that journaling space. Oh, that is a really cool idea. I like that idea. about this one. I'm not sure which one I like better. Okay. Um, okay, so that's not going to work. We can't use that. Um, just flipping through my digitals here real quick. might work. How wide are you? I think that might just be perfect. And all of these um, are part of the kit. Everything I've used so far. Well, that's mine. Well, I mean, I guess technically it's all mine, but I didn't create the other kits. I created the lilac one. You know, I've never really understood that. I know a lot of people are just like, whenever they make something or whenever they see something else made by someone, they're like, oh, well, that's, you know, Bob's. Well, no, it's not. It's mine. I bought it. I mean, I don't know. I always get confused by that. Like, now, if it's something that's created like this, then absolutely I get that. I mean, it's still mine, but. I didn't create that. I supported another artist with that. So that I get, but like if someone buys lace from me, I don't expect all of their projects to be like, oh yeah, that's, I use, you know, I use Tasha's lace. Um, no, you used your lace because once you bought it from me, it's not mine anymore. It's yours. I don't know. I guess I'm just silly, but I've always got confused by that. Well, I guess because people don't say, you know, I use lace that I got from Natasha. I, you know, I used digitals that I got from, you know, Joe Bob. It's, it's, 
it's their items is how it's worded, which is weird. But I've always been a very particular person with words. So I guess that's why I get so confused because I'm just like, it doesn't make any sense. It's not theirs anymore. I guess I'm just weird. But then again, my confusion on this matter is not what makes me weird. For the record. Uh, let's do some more on the sides here. All right. And, oh, no, that's upside down. Okay. All right. Yeah, since this is such a chunky monkey, I think this is definitely going to be have to finish today. Um, I guess I can't see adding more to it. I didn't expect it to fill up quite that quickly. I mean, I guess there's a lot in here, though. I mean, there is a lot in here. So I think, I think that's it. I'm going to do the back of this real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and call it a day because it's over an hour already. I didn't realize that until I just looked up. I'm going to go ahead and do this back page, and it's going to be done, guys. Like, can you believe it? This very chunky monkey is going to be done. All right, let's grab one of these guys here. Um, let's go this route. And you know, I think I want to cut this. Yeah, I'm going to cut this. And I'm just going to make it the height of the page. That way it gives one very large journaling space. We can do a little bit of a border. I'm going to save that. This is a lot easier to cut when you're not trying to cut on a big old fat journal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. We can put the margin at the top there. Perfect. Oh wait, it's not perfect. No, I need another sliver off. We did not make it narrow enough. I just cut about a quarter of an inch off. I guess that's not really a sliver now, is it? But I want to make sure that it closes properly. All right, stay. All right. So, I don't know when this is going to be in the shop uh, because I still have to take pictures of it. But uh, it will definitely be in the shop by this weekend. Uh, mostly because we're finishing it right now. And I want to say that it's probably all of those tags and cards and everything that made it such a chunky monkey so very quickly but I don't regret it because those are some beautiful cards. Some of them people sent, um, like um, one of the tags in there I got from one of the shop owners that I bought from and it's so, so pretty. All right. I can't believe it's so chunky. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so hold that. And hold that. Oh no. 
was. Okay. So that just makes me wonder what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Because I expected to be working on this a little bit longer. But I expected there to be a lot more room. <laughs> There's just not very much room. You know, I think I want to go shopping for some more digitals because that is a lot of fun to like find digitals that work with my own, you know, and like kind of meld them together. Oh, and I love that there's just this huge space for journaling back here. Well, there's huge space for journaling throughout this entire book. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how chunky this is. And there's still space for more. That's what is the funny thing. Um, I don't know that I've got, I mean, I've got plain bags. Let me put in there. That one sticks out a little bit. Just have to cut it ever so slightly. Look at me. I said I wasn't going to add any more and here I am adding more. So there's a tag there and then you put a card in here. That one's not going to work. I really wanted to use that somewhere in here too. Let's see if we can find somewhere for it. Put it on the back. I still think it's too wide, though. That's the problem. Oh, I think we're just going to have to save her for the next project. Oh my gosh. Put her in here. I kind of wanted her to show a little bit more though. Something like that. I just want to sit it in there. And there's still this pocket here, which we could add to the back here. And then that is pretty much everything that we made for this book. So let's do that. And, and then I'm done. <laughs> oh my gosh, two hours later, she's still adding to the book. You just can't help it. You made all this really cool stuff and you know you want to put it all in the book but i will say that there are pockets and tucks galore in this thing whoever gets this is going to have so much fun with it i think oh Close you back up. And then put you right there. Isn't that pretty? I know I said I was done. This book will never close. What's one more? <laughs> and we wonder how they get so fat. Because we just keep adding stuff.
Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> There's like one thing left and I can just put it in a pocket somewhere and call it a day. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. This is going to take like an hour to upload because it's so long. Because normally I do like between 30 and an hour. My ring's falling off my fingers. Um, I normally do like between 30 and an hour and it normally takes like anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes to upload. Uh, the longer the video, the longer the upload. Oh, oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love this book. Am I allowed to say that? I think I'm allowed to say that. I love this book. Okay. Now I didn't put a closure on this. Maybe I should have. <laughs> like force it closed. Urgh. If I squish it, that's what happens. You can, you can kind of, uh, you can kind of get it closed. But I think I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> Maybe put a really heavy book on it overnight. Maybe it might <laughs> squish it. I doubt it. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so I will do a, um, a full flip through of this. I know you guys have seen a lot of it. But I'm just going to do a flip through from front to back. Now that it's completely finished, I'm going to wait for it to dry overnight. So, um... That way I can separate anything that gets glued together that's not supposed to be glued together and whatnot. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to find somewhere to put this. Um, let's put you on this side. Oh, there's pockets there. I forgot there's pockets there. Pocket here too. I forgot there was pockets there. <laughs> I'll have to add something. Anyway, um, to indicate that there's pockets, not to add more fatness. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this super duper long video. I am so sorry. Um, time got away from me, obviously. And then it, the chunky monkey just, um, well, yes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.